Good morning, everyone, and thank you for taking time away from your class to look at your pick sheets and prepare for your registration for next year. First and foremost, you need to know where to go to find all the registration information required. So you're going to go to our website, which is birtchurch.rockyview.ab.ca. And if you need any other information, it's going to be in the left hand side. You see this box that says registration info. For those of you that are entering grade 10, there's some information for our alternative programs. As well in grade 11, there's information for Global and Mechanics Training Center, as well as the Leadership Academy. If you have questions, please take a look at that alternative programs information. Otherwise, all of the other information that you need is in the grade 10 to 12 registration materials link. Here you will see your course planner. That might help you in preparation as you're preparing for the rest of your years in high school. You're also going to see this grade 10, 11, and 12 course planning form. So I'm going to take a look at the grade 11 form. Uh, however, it might look a little bit different in grade 10 and 12. Now, when you're preparing your grade 11 course planning form, grade 10 or grade 12, please put your student name at the top. We need to know who you are. This is going to help because you're going to be handing these in. It says here, return the completed form to your period one class by Thursday, March 21st. Those are actually going to come down to the office before that date. However, if you do bring it to your period one teacher, that period one teacher uh, can bring the form down to the office for you. When you are choosing your courses, it is very, very inform important that you are choosing the correct courses for the pathways that you either are in or are moving towards in next year. What that means is, as you are choosing your core courses, in grade 10 and 11, you're going to be choosing social English, science, and math, no matter what. In grade 12, you may or may not be choosing science and math courses, depending on what your goals for post-secondary and career are, and if you've met those graduation requirements. So when you are looking at these core courses, please take a look at the recommendations that your teacher is providing you. For example, in social, if you finished the previous level with greater than 60%, you are able to move forward in that dash one stream. If you are above 40% in the dash one stream, you are able to move to the dash two stream. If you were in the Dash 2 stream in the previous year, you need to be above 50% in order to obtain credit and move forward to the Dash 2 of the next level. If you wish to repeat a course because you were not successful, you would be choosing that in this section below. That's going to be the case for Social Studies and English. Now for Science. If you are moving from grade 10 to 11, you may choose up to three sciences. You do not need to choose all three, and I would suggest you do some investigation for your post-secondary or career goals as to which are most relevant. In grade 11, however, you must choose a science, and again, you wanna do that according to these recommendations, or repeating a course to obtain the course credit that you need to move forward for your planning. Same is true for math, and you're going to make sure that if you have questions, please talk to your teacher, ask which course is best for you, and make sure that you're not choosing a course that you're not eligible for. For example, if you took math 10-3 in grade 10, you may not choose math 20-1, you must continue in the dash three stream. That number cannot go down, it can only move Right? And again, if you have questions, please ask your period one teacher or the teacher of the subject or speak to administrators. After you've chosen your core courses, you're going to choose your complementary courses. You can see here that there is options to choose a number of complementary courses. These are your first choices for your complementary courses. Then you can give us some alternates. These alternates are, are if you do not have the ability to get the complementary courses that you're looking for. Now, when you are choosing your complementary courses, please make sure you're choosing the correct level. If you have completed successfully Construction 10, you may move to Construction 20. Same for mechanics, foods, German, culinary, art, all of those things. If you have not completed the 10 level, you may not choose the 20 level just because you are in grade 11. 
You must complete the 10 level, then the 20 level, and then the 30 level. There is still the same number of credits for the most part associated at both levels. However, please make sure that if you have not done the 10 level, that is the course that you're registering in. You have a number of courses that are available before school. These are the early bird courses. Please be aware that if you're choosing these early bird courses, that's gonna involve you getting to school before school starts or possibly staying after school. So don't choose those courses if you're required to take the bus to school. Outside of that, if you have questions about the content of specific courses or the course fees, we do have the course handbook on that website. You're welcome to look at the course handbook. It will tell you more about the course and the associated fees. Take this home, talk to your parents about your required courses, talk to your parents about what you're looking at for next year and why. Fill this out completely sign it, have your parents sign it, and then you're going to return that to the office. What's gonna happen is the week before Easter, we have four days before Good Friday, we are going to be taking these sheets, we'll be meeting you by grade level and last name in the library, and then we will sit down with you in small groups or one-to-one -one as administrators and counselors, and we will register for your courses for next year. Questions, please direct those to the office if you have them. You're welcome to email your administrators. As a reminder, Ms. Cumberland is the grade nine administrator. Mr. McCreel is the grade 10 administrator. Myself, Mr. New is the grade 11 administrator. And in grade 12, we have three different thirds. Feel free to email all of us or uh, you can contact the office for which specific administrator is yours. Again, thank you for your time. It's very important that we do this correctly. We wanna make sure that we've provided you with the best options for next year, and we look forward to registering with you the week before Easter. Thank you and have a great day.